Good morning and welcome to Time with the Children. For the next couple of weeks in Pathways and during this time, we're going to look at stories of God calling people to action. Um, this week we're looking at Samuel. And the question we're going to ask is, how do they do? Um, how does Samuel do when God calls? And what can we learn about that? So I think this week we're going to act it out together. So let's stand up together. And we're going to learn um, five different motions. Uh, the first one, think about, have you ever wanted to get your parents' attention? How have you done that? We're like, mom, 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 mom. Have you ever done like that? Like, mom, mom. So the first one is when we hear God calling Samuel. We're going to be like, Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. The same way we would be when we're trying to get um, our parents' attention. Um, Samuel is also going to be sleeping at one point in the story, so let's practice our sleeping motion. Um, our third motion is going to be, have you ever been really excited, maybe in a classroom setting with an answer, um, and you go like, me, 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 me. So then that, that's our third one. Like, we're going to say, here I am. Like, we're excited to answer the question. Um, at the end, God is going to call Samuel, so we'll say call, and then Samuel's going to say, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Um, so this story is going to have three characters, Samuel, Eli, and God. So the story begins with Samuel. Here's our first motion. We're acting it out together. Samuel is asleep in the temple. And the next part is God calling Samuel. So let's do that together. Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. And then Samuel runs to Eli, who's asleep, and says, here I am, here I am. So we act that out. Here I am. And Eli says, I didn't call you. Go back to sleep. So Samuel goes back to the temple, goes back to sleep. Let's do our sleeping. And then God is going to call again. So we're like, Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. We act that out. And Samuel runs to Eli again and says, here I am, here I am. And Eli says, it's not me calling you. Go back to sleep. So Samuel goes back and tries to sleep again. So we're sleeping together. And then God calls again. Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel runs to Eli again and says, here I am, here I am, here I am. And Eli says, wait a second. That's not me calling you. I think that's God. Go back to the temple. Go back to sleep and listen again. So Samuel goes back and he goes back to sleep. We're all sleeping. And God calls again, Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel says, let's get our listening ears on, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. How did Samuel do in this story today? Well, how many times did it take him to figure out it was God? And did he figure that out alone? So he did pretty good. I think it gives us hope that we can know God calls us more than once and keeps calling, and that sometimes we need the help of someone else to figure out in all the voices we hear calling out to us by our name that that voice is God, and that we need to get back and settle down and say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So I think we know that Samuel wasn't perfect. Like, how did he do? It took him four times to figure out in the help of someone else that God was calling. And that should be a relief. Um, God will keep calling us and help us figure it out. We're going to close with a prayer today. It's a little bit different. I'm going to say a line, and you're going to say your name. So I'm going to say God's calling once, and you say your name once, twice, and three times. Each time you say your name after me. And then we'll end together with here I am, I'll say that, and you repeat it, and amen. So let us pray. Dear God, you are calling once. You are calling twice. You are calling three times. You are calling four times. And we answer, here I am, God. And let us all say together, amen. I look forward to talking with you next week. We're going to look at a story of Jonah. And we're going to ask, how does Jonah do? See you next week.